Okay. We're going to try this. This is You don't know it, but this is try number three. Let's see if we can talk a little bit about what you might expect during methods of research this semester. So what we're going to talk about is what's, I mean, it's really what it says it is. It's methods of research. So how is research done, academic research, um, how is, um, excuse me, action research conducted, and that's what we're going to focus on is that action research. There's not a big difference between academic and action research. One is a little more formal than the other. There's, you're still doing the same thing, though. You're, you're proposing a question. You're looking at the literature to see um, what supports your question or your topic that you've chosen. You're designing some kind of a study, a way to test, to find an answer to your question. And then you're analyzing the data. And then you're using that data to write conclusions and make recommendations for future um, research. And, um, and you're also saying, you know, what, ha what worked? What didn't work? Why did it work? Why didn't it work? Based on your observations from the data you've collected. So really what we're doing is we're actually getting in there and saying, okay, so I use, and I'm going um, to say stacks and math, right? Because I just enrolled my daughter in a new school today, and they use Saxon math, so it's fresh up here. So Saxon math, um, and you decide you want to explore how using Saxon math in the sixth grade helps helps them better retain math facts. And it's kind of lame, but that's off the top of my head right now. And so what you'll do, you'll, you'll look at the literature, see what else has been done with Saxon math, and 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 retention of math facts, and middle school, and all that, and then you will design some kind of a study. You might do a pre-test, a post-test. Um, there might be some kind of an instructional strategy you put in there. We'll talk about all that. So don't think, oh, I've got to have that all in my head right now. No, you don't. And then using that data, so we're making a research base to make some decisions on what direction we go in the future. What conclusions can I draw? And then what direction is going to go in the future? And it's really all about what you talk about every day as teachers is that we need to make our make sure our decisions that we make for instruction are research based. Well, one way you can do that is by conducting your own research. And it's it's not scary really. It can be time consuming, but I think in the end you'll find it valuable and it might be one of those things that you really get into and say, "Hey, I'd like to do this a little more." And that's great. I hope so. So that's the class in a nutshell, and we're going to go through it piece by piece, step by step together. So don't think I'm just going to say, here it is, go do it. No. We'll do some brainstorming together, we'll refine your topic together, and then we'll do each piece of the process a little bit at a time. So, and then when we're all done, you put it all in one big package, and you're good to go, and you've got this great paper that maybe is even publishable. We'll have, and that's something, if you're interested and as we read, as you explore your topic, to put it out there for somebody. We can pursue that as well. So there are some great possibilities that come out of this class. So I hope you enjoy it. And then finally, I want to say, with all that said, you're going to need to set yourself some deadlines. You're also going to need to be willing to communicate with me. Because I need to know what you don't know or what you don't understand and vice versa. So we need to do really good about communicating back and forth with each other. There are going to be due dates. I know that life happens. There's parent-teacher conferences, there's coaching, there's first days of school, there's sickness, all that stuff that get in the way. Sometimes you might need some extra days. Ask. Same here. As we start turning in assignments, especially the literature review piece, I'm trying my very, 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 very best to take no longer than a week to get those back to you. And thankfully, since I am done, for the most part, with my own writing, I can be better about getting you feedback on yours. And I'm so excited about that. I'm excited about getting to be, a, hopefully, a better teacher now that I'm no, not both a student and a teacher. I think you probably get that, don't you? Yes, because you're probably feeling the same way a lot of times. I get it. All right, so I will let you know. If I'm going to be behind, I'll let you know, and I'll extend the next deadline, but we've got to keep ourselves because we've got to get everything done by the end of the semester. Okay, so enough of my rambling. Just know that I'm excited, and I know that you are nervous. That's okay. Just remember, communicate, 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 and we're going to have a good 
good class.